Welcome back, it's Doug MPA. I've done multiple videos on my channel of women who don't want to work nine to five. They just think that they're above it and they're gonna find some way out. Guys, only 20% of people in the United States are entrepreneurs. Everyone else works for somebody and most of the time it's nine to five. What is going on? These women just feel above what 80% of the rest of us have to do. This article says, I'm 28 and don't care to work nine to five. I have no energy and I can't afford a studio apartment. This Gen Z girl, she's 28, just can't work at nine to five. She's so exhausted mentally and emotionally. So we're gonna get into this article. Before I do that, like the video, subscribe, drop a comment, I really appreciate it. Shows you support me, what I'm doing over here. And let's see what's going on with this girl. It says, Every day I get up at the crack of dawn, get ready, hop on a bus, and head to work. It takes me an hour to get there because of the usual traffic. The same thing happens on the way back. Working full time, half my day slips through my fingers. I come home and collapse on the bed. I have no energy after a day like that, wrote our reader Asia in a letter to the editor. Oh, poor Asia. Welcome to the rest of your life, young lady. She says, hi, my name is Asia, and I'm 28. I've been working for as long as I can remember. I started before I even went to college during my studies. I also work part-time, mostly in retail. Now I have a full-time job. It's related to my field of study and my interests, but it doesn't matter because I've lost all my energy. I don't want to work nine to five. Half my day slips away. My boyfriend and I live with my parents. She lives with her parents. Her and her boyfriend, what? So I bet neither one of them have to pay rent. So she's saving rent and her parents are, are, are willing to let her boyfriend stay? What is she complaining about? If it weren't for them, I don't know how I'd cope, both mentally and financially. Every day I wake up early, get ready and take the bus to work. It takes me an hour thanks to traffic. Same thing on the way home. With a full-time job, half the day is gone. I come home and class on the bed. I have no energy after a day like that. I force myself to help with the groceries or do something around the house. I'm not ungrateful after all. Uh, yeah, I would say th you're lying right there. But honestly, all day long, I'm just thinking about getting back to bed. Then the cycle repeats. She needs to see a therapist. Or she needs to get a blue-collar job where she's working with her hands. Because she does not see how good she, she has it. And she has these, these grandiose dreams. Guys, uh, odds are she has some BS degree that's not worth the paper it's printed on. And it got her a job and a career field that's not going to make her a lot of money. That's how it, it always works with these women, guys. This is... Um, I like my my job, but I don't want to work nine to five. The system just doesn't work for me. I struggle to wake up in the morning and at night. I can't sleep even when I'm exhausted. Unfortunately, there's no shift work option, so I don't have a choice. I'd gladly work in the evenings when no one bothers me, but that's not an option here, so I feel stuck. Okay, I'm going to share this with you guys. This is um, a four-step process where you know... If you're at the last step of this process, you, you need to leave your job. Step one. Now, this is a customer service based model because Doug and PA worked in customer service for a lot of my life. I waited tables on and off for like eight years. OK, step one. If you are at work and your coworkers are cool, everything is cool as long as the customers don't bother you, you you'll be fine. That's step one. Step two is. Your coworkers bother you and the customers bother you, but as long as uh, as people generally leave you alone, you're fine. Step three is when every part of your day is good except for when you walk through the door of work. How many of you have had those jobs where you, at home you're fine? You know, even in the car at work, you... you you're blasting tunes, have a, a good time, but right when you walk in the door, you're just like, oh, God, get me out of here. Now, the last step, guys, if you find yourself staying up at night, 
so you don't have to go to sleep. Because going to sleep means that you, you have to go to work. You have to leave your job. You have to ask yourself the, the most important question you, you can ask when you're thinking about leaving a, a relationship, leaving a job. Ask yourself, is this working for me? Yes or no? And if the answer is no, everything else is easy, guys. Find another job. Get out of there. Because I can't even afford a studio apartment. I make a decent money, but still not enough. Maybe I wouldn't feel so overwhelmed if I had my own place. Maybe something closer to work. But I can't even afford a studio apartment. I make decent money, but still not enough to qualify for a loan. My boyfriend isn't in a rush to get married, and I don't want to pressure him. I don't want to rent because first, the prices are insane. And second, my parents have a two-story house. It would be a shame for it to sit almost empty with just two retirees and their dog living there. So I guarantee you, she lives up uh, in LA. I guarantee it. She sounds like she lives in California, right guys? So I just exist, always tired, always with my phone in hand because I don't have the energy for anything else. And I, I don't even have kids. I can't imagine in what parents and my situation must go through. That's it, I just wanted to vent. Well, let me give her another. This girl has it made. Now, if she wants to make changes, she can. You know, if she got out of school um, with not a lot of debt, she, she can go back to school and, and get um, a degree in something more lucrative or get a, a graduate degree in something more lucrative. She can move out of wherever she's at to someplace cheaper. There's a lot. Of, she's 28, for Christ's sake. Come on now. Jesus H. Christ. She's too young to be feeling like this. She, she sounds like her, her life is over. She has a supportive parents, you know, a decent boyfriend, I guess. Doesn't have to pay rent. What is she whining about? This is modern women, guys. I just can't work a nine to five. Look at this. I like my job, but I don't want to work for, from nine to five. That system just doesn't work for me. This is modern women, guys. You get what you earn in this life. If you don't want to work nine to five, you're going to have to do a lot of work now, so it'll pay off later. Nothing's free. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Like the video, subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one.